The Iowa Department of Public Safety says they are backing a nationwide initiative targeting increased representation for women in law enforcement. KCAU 9 reporter Dylan Adams looks into the efforts being made locally to help diversity in the workforce. The details in our top story at 10. Currently, just 6.4% of Iowa's Department of Public Safety's workforce is female, something they look to change in the future as they back the efforts of the 30 by 30 initiative. The main purpose of this new nationwide program, affiliated with the policing project at New York University and the National Association of Women Law Enforcement Executives, is to have women represent 30% of recruit classes by the year 2030. The Sioux City Police Department is currently above average nationally with 12.5% of officers being female. Lieutenant Judy Killen has been a part of Sioux City PD for 25 years. She reflected on the importance of diversifying law enforcement. We're very involved in the community and we, we will always continue to do so and be so and um, I know that as uh, our population changes we'll try to have our department uh, reflect the changes in the community. Meanwhile at Western Iowa Tech, Police Science Coordinator Dave Drew says efforts are being made to attract more women to the occupation and says several female students are studying in the program now versus just one or two many years ago. I think that stigma is gone. Um, that glass ceiling has been broken by different uh, agencies throughout the country. We have chiefs of police that are females, sheriffs that are females, um, well up into the administration. One student in particular spoke on what motivated her to get involved with law enforcement. I want to empower children of all races, um, empower young girls that all dreams are achievable. And I also want to help prevent recidivism from continuing to occur in my own community by serving my community. Officer Andrew Dutler tells me that they will begin the recruitment process for new officers in the early stages of 2022, but that anyone who's waiting to test at the academy should continue preparing in the meantime. Dylan Adams, KCAU 9 News.